give props to all y'all that are good, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes it's just, come on, you know, you, you, you ain't never spit true definition. Cause you would sell out all the times you thought you ripped it when you don't fell out. It's ground up till the grave I'm dipped in. Performance all out, we keeping it real in all conditions. It's no chance to reroute. Never, never spit true definition. Cause you would sell out. All the times you thought you ripped it when you don't fell out. It's ground up till the grave I'm dipped in. Performance. How did I get the name Stax? Well, Stax was, was mostly a name that I gave myself because that was what I wanted to have in my pocket, you know. When I was younger, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to be able to come home and put on the table, just a stack and want to go get whatever she wanted to get. So, you know, that was just what I put for myself, Stax. Because I will have it one day. <laughs> Chicago, all day, man. West Side, love my city. Oh, man, I've been rapping for about good seven years. It was strange how I was rapping, though. Like, when I was when I first started off, nobody really knew. I kept it, you know, down low out. I was a little shy kid, you know, but start coming out with it and letting everybody know. So, I'm sad I've been rapping about seven years. Okay. Uh, well, in eighth grade, uh, a good friend of mine, he was always uh, rapping, you know, he was real good at it. And I was like, man, I, I wish I could do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, spit the rhymes that he could spit so easily. I was like, I could do that, you know, and he helped me progress what I already had. So, after then, I was like, well, I think I can do this. I think I should go ahead and try it. If I'm good at it, you know, that's really what got me started. Well, pretty soon, everybody will, you know, hear me bust a couple notes, you know. I got a little sing, I can do a little sing, you know. I got to work on a little bit, you know. Singing runs in my family. Yes, uh, my first EP, Stax Nation, will be dropping soon. I want to drop it around the summer. It's going to be uh, highly anticipated. Got a lot of good tracks on that one. Shout out to Phoenix for helping me with that. So, it's gonna be live. Stacks Nation, I mean, it was just, it was mostly a, uh, I was talking about Chicago and how I feel like Chicago is mine. I, I'm gonna take Chicago, you know? And I just put my name in it, just, this is, this is my nation. Everybody that runs with me and my family, you know, they, the whole Stax Nation crew, you know. Everybody wants money, everybody needs money rather, you know, to survive in the world. So Stax Nation is, is letting everybody know that we gonna get money regardless. So that's why I came up with that name. Two favorites, I would have to say Cup Full of Dreams, and the beginning. A couple of dreams. Uh, that feature in Phoenix. Shout out Phoenix on that. A couple of dreams is uh, it's all really in the title, you know. It, it's it's my dreams and aspirations of what I want to be and, and what's what's going on in my mind, you know, and how much I'm gonna get out of grinding every day, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the beginning that was just the start of it all, you know, from from the hating, from telling me I can't make it to where I am now, to what I'm doing now. So that's what the beginning was about. Uh, I'm trying to think of some names that I've heard. Uh, no, not Drake. That's a big crit. Uh, no, big crit is like, that's, nah. I, I would say one person that I have heard is uh, J. Cole, from just because of how smooth he is with his lyrics, you know. 
it wasn't necessarily the same kind of style, it was just how smooth he is. But mostly I'm, I'm by myself, man. I don't really, I don't really try to copy anybody, you know. So it's hard to compare me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm split between both because, you know, being independent, you get your name out there more as you want to. You know, you don't have to wait for anybody. You can go out, do what you want to do. At the same time, you're spending more and more of your own money. You know, so you taking more of a risk being independent as far as money wise, but at the same time you will be taking a risk being signed because you'll never know when somebody try to rip you off and you gotta worry about people trying to bite that bite at your money constantly. You know, so both have pros and cons, but I me mean, either way which one benefits me more and which one I can see myself in for a long one. Right. So, you know. Right now, I would say I'm independent and then, you know, see how things go in the long run. My mom, man, she was the, the only person I seen grind as hard as, as anybody. Like, you know, my mom, she made sure that there was food on the table every night, you know what I'm saying? So, even when she couldn't, she made sure that we ate something. You know, my mom was my biggest motivator, and behind her would be my city, you know, seeing everything that that a young kid shouldn't see, you know, you know, struggling all the time, you see people want to gang bang, shoot all the time, that ain't, that ain't really where it's at, you know, but you want to elevate from that, so that motivates me to do what I do so I can make sure that I'm working twice as hard for my mom just like she was for me in my city. Big Crit, hands down, Big Crit. He's one of the nastiest MCs I have heard. So, that next question on that one, Big Crit, hands down. I'm not even gonna sit here and be like, who oh, Tupac can be, you know, I'm not gonna do that. And maybe like follow everybody else. I would have to say, Big Crit, T.I. I like Lupe. Lupe is a dog. Um, Common, definitely. Then Eminem. As of right now, I'm trying to get something going in my city home. My hometown, Chicago, trying to get something going on out there next month. Uh, after this EP, there will be many more. So, just really be prepared for anything. Be better than the last and make sure that you always push your music and grind every day, you know. Don't don't try to sound like every every other person that's coming out. You know, like this whole gang bang era, like that's getting old. Like if you can't be different then you ain't gonna never be nothing in the game. So you gotta try to be different. You know, but also you know, try your hardest to appeal to people that's listening to you. You know. If you can't if you can't appeal to your your fans and you can't really expect anybody to really listen to what you want to do, you know, because at the end of the day, the people that's really paying you technically is your fans. So that's advice I would give them. Uh, as of right now, I'm still using my, my old Facebook account. You know. Corey Smith, that's my real name. Uh, on YouTube, you can reach me at Stacks Nation. Just put Stacks Nation all together in YouTube, and you'll find all my music. Uh, 
You can find uh, the groups, information on realgroundup.com. That's all of us there, so that's where you can reach us. All right, shout out Picture Lady and Bandwagon for putting us here today. Got this nice interview set up. Shout out my girl Valerie. Shout out my mom. Shout out Chicago. Who's representing me real hard. And, uh, you know, shout out all my fans. It's your man Stax. And then with Bandwagon, G's Up Productions. Follow us. Stay in tune. We doing real good moves. Follow. It's ground up till the grave I'm dipped in Performance all out We keeping it real in all conditions No chance to reroute Never, never spit true definition Cause you would sell out All the times you thought you ripped it When you don't fell out It's ground up till the grave I'm dipped in Performance all out We keeping it real in all conditions No chance to reroute, reroute. All I know is grind and get this money at my league